Hey, what's up guys? This is your Race Pace Coach and today we will go over motivating the unmotivated. Okay, so motivating, being able to motivate your swimmers. Okay, so the first thing I want you to understand is that swimmers or anybody that you're coaching, they only can motivate themselves. Okay, you, to, for them to improve, you know, they must rely on themselves and on their mindset on how they want to get better in life in swimming, okay? So that's the first thing I think about. And then the second thing I think about is that how does, you know, I, I think about how, how does swimming benefit them? And then I talk to them and, you know, I get my point across on how how being in swimming will benefit the swimmer, not only in swimming, but them in the future, okay? How it will benefit them in the future, all right? So the one thing is building good, positive ha habits of success, okay? So each each day, there you, you have to have them work on building a good, positive habits of success, okay? When you when they do that, every time they build th that up, it will start to motivate them to, you know, get back into swimming and get back into whatever they want to accomplish, and then tr do their best to achieve it. Okay, it's gonna take time. It's not gonna take a day. It's not gonna take a week. It's gonna take months. Okay, a month to two months to three months, or e it could take up to a year. All right, so. How, how to build good positive habits of success, okay? So every time, for example, every time at a swim meet, you know, I always have the swimmer thinking about how they're going to succeed, okay? And then when, when they don't succeed, you know, I have them think about, you know, what could they do to improve themselves, to aim for the goal that they want okay um so taking taking away that negative you know mindset where because if a swimmer has a negative mindset it will it will guarantee that they will start to doubt themselves even more and then that's how they feel you know less motivated and not want to swim anymore okay and we want to build up that motivation and then that's why we do this these good positive habits of success these small habits of succeeding will lead to greater habits and then you know the higher chance the higher chances of them succeeding the more chances of them succeeding these small small successes will carry on to even bigger ones and even greater ones and then they'll have an easier time accomplishing their goals and you know they'll train their mind to be less negative and more positive going into um, things and working hard to achieve the goals that they want all right but if we if if they continue to build this negative mindset and then constantly re reinforcing themselves that you know reinforcing their failures through negative thought you know then their their chances of not being able to accomplish their goals gets worse and worse and you know they they lose even more motivation they then they start to lack motivation and then they're just gonna quit okay i had a few of these swimmers who were like this where you know they weren't really into swimming and then you know, after six six months to a year, you know, they started to train harder and they're they're working on being more positive, and then, um, then they suddenly realize that you know they have so much potential in their swimming, and you know they start to come to dry land, they start to come to more practices to get better, and you they achieve a higher time standard level than they ever would have thought of okay like 
I had a girl who only thought that she could, you know, get to the state level and then she ended up achieving her regional level times. And she hated coming to swimming. So, you know, it took six months to a year to get her to realize how it will help her out, you know, these these small habits of success that I tried to have her focus on and a positive mindset helped her, you know, achieve something that she thought that she could never do. Okay, so I like when when it comes to swimmers who are not motivated, that's what I like to target first, you know, the changing their mindset, changing the way they think about things, think about hard work, they think about, you know, things that are painful to do. And, you know, always have them think about starting instead of overthinking things before they start or making sure that they're 100% ready before they start it, you know. Um, Just like um, when I started my YouTube channel, you know, it took me two years of overthinking, over planning to actually start this YouTube channel I I mean, the whole, the past two years, I was just procrastinating, you know, thinking that, you know, nobody wants to hear about race pace training and this and that. And then, you know, once I started this channel, you know, uh, people wanted to know and were asking more questions, you know, about race pace training and how they can improve it and how they can get better at it. Okay. So, um, what I, what I like to tell swimmers and other people is just you know just be consistent with these um small positive habits of success and this positive mindset okay and when you when you train yourself to do that and reinforce it with um each individual small success and make that consistent you know it's going to help you develop into a better person and you know you you'll end up being an, an expert or you know your swimmer is going to be end up being a fast swimmer or you're going to be end up as a expert as a a swim coach or even a you know a personal tr- life coach to other people and to other swimmers okay so make sure you keep make keep it consistent keep it positive and that's how they will stay motivated to swim and get better okay and then you know, and then the second thing is you just got to keep supporting them, you know, no matter what. Even if it's at the beginning where they, you know, they're fast, but they could get faster, but they don't want to come to practice and swim. You keep supporting them. You keep sh- you keep showing that you care about their um, their performance and how how they feel on swimming. And, you know, you just... Because what I do every day at practice is, you know, I have the headset and then I can talk to the kids while they're in the water. And I constantly correct their stroke and tell them, you know, um, when they correct their stroke, it looks better. And, well, it does because I'm not, I'm, I'm not just like blowing smoke into their face or anything, you know. You constantly have to keep supporting them. And then when it comes to the meet and they get faster, you know, you just... And then when they come back to you and check in from their event, you know, you just say, good job, you know, um, that's what we've been working on at practice and you've done it and then you got a lot faster. And then saying that to them, you know, helps reinforce them that it tells them that they can do it and it tells, it shows to them that you as a coach have been supporting them throughout the whole journey of them getting better. Okay. And then there are some things that that I like to do also with this is, you know, suggesting, you know, if the swimmers are plateauing again and um, lack of motivation, they can, oops, shoot, my bad. They can start to lift weights and then have them eat a proper diet, you know. Lifting weights will, you know, build their muscles, build, build their... Um, confidence you know because their outward appearance and then you know having a proper diet not being overweight okay um and then proper diet is also 
performance too, so that you can actually perform better in the water at practice and at swim meets if you eat a proper diet. So for proper diet, what I like to suggest is foods that are high in carbs. I don't like to suggest foods that are high in fat. You know, it's okay if it's somewhat sugary, but I, t- I tend to t- t- tell the swimmers, you know, stay away from vegetable oils. Stay if you're gonna eat meat, you know, you just try not to eat too much of the fatty parts of the meat. Um, stay away from um, things that are fried in oil or you know, like deep fried in oil, pan fried in oil, or like um, when they eat carbs, you know, they're not mixed with oil like fried rice or you know, other things, or and stay away from cheese because you know cheese is like what seventy percent fat. So th- those are the things that will help keep your swimmer healthy, um, eating clean, and um, coming to practice and swim meets every day and performing at the max level. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to learn more about Race Pace 101, uh, Race Pace Training, there's my Race Pace 101 course in the description below. There's also my book that I offer, and there's products in the description below that I use to help my swimmers get better and help, help motivate them, not only when they're just on the wall, but as they're actually swimming in the water, okay? Um, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.